What is up everybody? So there's some pretty big breaking news going on in the world of pro wrestling. Wall Street Journal is reporting and it is linked in the description below that Vince McMahon intends to return to WWE to pursue a sale of the company. The article states Mr. McMahon who, who has majority voting power through the ownership of WWE's Class B stock has told the company that he is electing himself and two former co-presidents and directors Michelle Wilson and George Barrows to the board. The move to reinstate Mr. McMahon, which the board previously rebuffed, and the others will require three current directors to vacate their position. It isn't clear where that would leave his daughter Stephanie McMahon after his departure. She took over as chairwoman and co-CEO alongside Nick Khan, the company's former vice president. The 77-year-old sent a letter to WWE's board in late December detailing his desire to return to the company he ran for four decades to help spearhead a strategic review process. The people said, Mr. McMahon believes there is a narrow window to to kick off a sales process because WWE's media rights, including for its flagship programs Raw and SmackDown, are about to renegotiate. Mr. McMahon believes the media landscape is evolving quickly and more companies are looking to own intellectual property they use on their own streaming platforms, making WWE an attractive takeover target. WWE, which generates most of its revenue from selling content rights, posted its first year of over $1 billion in revenue in 2021. The company currently has a market value of just over $5 billion. The board responded last month in a letter to Mr. McMahon that it was prepared to initiate a, re a review process and would welcome working with him on it. However, it said it unanimously agreed Mr. McMahon's return to the business wouldn't be in the shareholder's best interest, according to people familiar with the letter. The board also asked Mr. McMahon to confirm his commitment to repay expenses incurred by WWE related to an investigation of allegations that requested that he agree not to return to the company during the government probes of the matter. Mr. McMahon said in response that he remains willing to continue working to complete any reimbursement for reasonable expenses related to the investigation to the extent they aren't covered by insurance, but he declined to agree not to return to the company. He has communicated to the board that unless he has direct involvement as executive chairman from the outset of a strategic review, he won't support or approve any media rights deal or sale. It says that the company has a market value of over $5 billion, so it's not gonna be some random company that does end up pur purchasing WWE if it does indeed go up for sale. It could end up like a WME type thing, the company that bought the UFC, where they just own the company, but Dana White continues to run it. But as more news breaks on this, I will definitely bring it to you. Let me know what you think. Leave some comments below. I hope you're having a good day, and I'll see you again soon.